All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So we're upgrading the gym. That's right, guys. Got ourselves a heavy bag. Uh, the structure I built, I'm not happy with. Uh, originally, I came out earlier today, and I was trying to put a post in the ground, shoot some angle iron across to meet up with the pull-up bar, the squat rack there, and I was going to hang the bag there. Well, as you see... It's uh, low, and it's still low even now. I mean, midsection's uh, way up here. So I still have to make some alterations, and I will. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna rebuild this whole thing. But I'm using scavenged material. As you see here, this is all scavenged material, reworked material, reclaimed wood. So I've been working on this thing all freaking day long, but thankfully, I got it up anyway. So, right fast, guys. Don't worry. I'm not going to beat on the bag and show you all that stuff. I do want to talk about a couple of things, though. Uh, one, inspiration for this, actually, from my buddy Mike. His channel should be popping up there somewhere. Uh, Mike, I believe, is actually training in multi, multi, one of those. I don't know. It's pretty badass. Uh, but he's a real inspiration for me, especially with my workout and exercises. So I'm trying to get my body back in shape. The fact is, my family depends on me. And my body has to be able to perform that's just the cold hard facts guys so i'm always pushing myself harder and harder i was able to get this thing on amazon like 60 some dollars that's a lot actually uh not a lot for a heavy bag but it's a lot to me so what i have to do save up this is all wrapping up into something guys because earlier today i made a comment uh posting a community board about i want all of my members here on the channel to unsubscribe from the membership uh, the reason I stand behind that statement, guys, the reason being is that I believe something major is coming our way, and I'd rather you take that finances and provide for your family, okay? I'm not saying you don't have money or anything like that, I still, so don't take that wrong. I'm just saying utilize that income, that, that monthly due, and go buy extra water filters, uh, extra storage for water, extra food, extra bang-bangs, whatever, extra freedom seats, I don't care. I think something major is coming our way. I do not trust what is going on with Russia and Ukraine. I do not trust it one bit. I believe there is going to be a major conflict, and I believe they're going to go underneath the guise of a fast Freddy. So I briefly mentioned about Operation Northwoods. Uh, that was a operation that was written up and approved by... I mean, you could actually Google this thing. That should be a nice little pop up there for you. Uh, this operation was to sink one of our own naval vessels and blame it on Cuba to enter into the to start war. Yeah, that was approved. It didn't go into effect, but it was approved to do it. Something like this with what's going on over there. And to me, reading into, even though we got a president that is saying, oh no, there will not be troops. Oh no, there will not be. I don't trust, I do not trust a politician. I do not trust government. The fact is, the economy is in the tanker. That's the truth. World economy is in the tanker. We're going to see a conflict. And it's going to be underneath the guise of a fast Freddy. They'll say Russia did something. You know what? Hey, maybe Russia does do something. It doesn't matter to me. The fact is I'm trying to, and I, I, I make a lot of people mad when I say it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me what the hell goes on over there. What matters to me is the repercussions that we get here. That's what's going to matter to me. That's what should matter to you. So we're always trying to prepare more, and that's why I say take those finances, start working on things, guys. All right, make sure all your holes are plugged, get extra water filters or whatever, start getting extra supplies uh, this thing here like I said I had to uh, save up for I've been eyeballing this thing for about four months and finally I was able to get it so yeah I'm happy with it uh, <laughs> don't do what I did I went and uh, filled up these five gallon buckets with sand <laughs> so a five gallon bucket with dry sand is 60 pounds. This sand here is not really dry. It's got some moisture in it. I put four buckets in this thing. Well, on dry, that'd be 240 pounds. Four buckets only put it up about halfway. 
and I wanted to go ahead and hang it. I was just tired of filling these things up. I was tired for the night. I wanted to go hang this thing, and when I got to my last clip, my stabilizer bar broke. It actually, the, the, the bar itself didn't break. It was actually a nail that I had in the stabilizer bar sheared off from the weight. So I went and took a look at a couple of things. And it turns out uh, sawdust is usually the preferred one. Um, I used uh, pet pine. Now we always keep pine on hand, shave, chewed up pine. Uh, we use it for bed material. So it actually makes for a good spot. So as you can see, this thing does move around a lot. And that is why we're gonna be rebuilding this thing. Because when I start whaling on this thing, I don't want anything tearing loose. So, I mean, this thing was a pain in the butt set myself. It really was. So we'll be rebuilding that. I'm gonna get some uh, four by fours and some two by fours. And I'm just going to uh, plant a four by four in the ground, cut it at a probably 22 degree angle, shoot another four by four up in the air, tie off on that. And I use two by fours to sandwich the four by fours together up top and put the other piece of four by four on top. That way it makes a nice little boom and it won't be able to break and stuff and it won't have that bad twist. Uh, so right now I have to have kickers on this one. I don't know if you can see it. I got angle iron kickers on this thing. Whatever I can do, just keep from toppling back over. So I got it four feet in the ground, and it's still not enough. I mean, this this still weighs a good 60 pounds. But um, yeah, start welling on this thing. It's gonna wind up busting loose. Anyway, guys, I just want you guys to keep pushing yourselves. Exercise. Don't, you don't have to do what I do. Just start working on your bodies. Start putting food and stuff back. Start putting supplies back. Again, I don't trust our governments. This whole, well, we're not going to put any troops in there. Yeah, they'll say it. They'll say a lot of things. All it takes is for one accident. But I'm thinking it's going to be an FF event. And we're right in the middle of it. Now we've gone global. All right, guys. Y'all stay safe. Keep prepping.